Next, we'll now look at the Prince 2 themes. Now, so what exactly are themes? Well, number one is, all themes should be tailored according to the scale, nature and complexity of the project. Now, you'll remember that the Prince 2 processes address the chronological flow of the project with actions related to different themes mixed and linked together. You see, one of the strengths of Prince 2 is the way in which the seven themes are integrated. And since the themes describe exactly how they are to be applied, when they are to be applied, who applies them, and so forth, then the themes act as powerful approaches to be applied throughout the processes within their chronological orders. So let's now look at each one in turn. Starting with the business case theme, this answers the question why and it presents how an idea with potential value, that's the benefits of course, is developed into a viable business case and how the business case is used and managed throughout the project. Remember that the business case is the powerful driver behind the whole reason why the project is being started in the first place and should contain a balance of benefits against costs and risks. In effect, the business case articulates whether or not the project is providing and continues to provide value for money. It answers the question, why are we bothering? The organisation theme answers the who. It describes the roles and the temporary responsibilities set up within the temporary Prince2 project management team. Remember that word, it's quite important. And the project management team are there in place to manage the project effectively. So the organisation theme describes what these roles are, what their responsibilities are, and how they are used throughout the project. The quality theme answers the what. How the outline idea, the end product, if you will, is developed so that everyone understands the product's quality attributes and how the project management will ensure that these quality attributes are delivered. The plans theme. This covers the how and how much. So this describes the steps needed to create a plan. In Prince, all plans are a document. They will contain schematics such as Gantt charts, product breakdown structure diagrams and so on and so forth. But they will also contain narrative which lays out how the plan is to be used and the Prince 2 techniques that should be applied. Of course, a plan contains how much, which is how much cost and how much resource, how much time as an example. Risk. The risk theme covers the what-if aspects. This describes how project management will manage the uncertainties in its plans. Remember, a risk can be a negative threat as well as a positive opportunity and should cover all risk within the wider project environment. The change theme describes how project management will, in the first place, initially assess change requests, carry out an impact analysis, and then seek the appropriate authority to decide whether or not the change should proceed. In Prince 2, all changes are treated as a type of issue. And of course, any change to what was originally agreed will have a potential impact on the project's plans and the products. So the change theme lays out a structured process to ensure that ultimately only those changes that are authorised are implemented. And the progress theme. This answers the questions where are we now, where are we going, and answer to the question should we carry on. So this theme describes the decision making process for initially plan approval and then the ongoing monitoring. It also includes management by exception and the escalation process if needed, if tolerance is forecast to be exceeded. So those then are the seven Prince 2 themes. Thank you.